Hey, how you doing? This is Mr. Muscarella coming at you, and today we're going to show you on the graphing calculator how to find the sum of this arithmetic series. So you're going to need to make sure that you have your TI-83 or 84 graphing calculator all set, and the next thing you're going to do is need to make sure that your operating system is up to date. Alright, now to make sure your operating system is up to date, what you're going to want to do is hit second and then the plus button, which is the memory button. Now, right there where number one where it says about, you're just going to hit enter. Now, I am using version 2.53 of our operating system, so you want to be using that operating system or higher to follow along with this tutorial. Now, the first thing that we're going to do, I'm going to sh there's two ways to do this, so if you don't have this operating system, if yours is lower than 2.53, here's the long way how to do it. And it's a real pain in the butt. So what you're going to do first is hit the second button and the catalog. All right. And what we want to do is find the sum spot. So what I want to do is hit the number four because that's T. And that'll take us all the way down to our T's. And I'm going to go up until I find sum. So I'm going to use sum, hit enter, and then I've got to find the sequence button. I'm going to hit second and then catalog and then I'm going to hit S which is right above the LN and I'm going to scroll down until I find SEQ. Now once I've got that selected I just hit enter. Now the sequence, I need to look back here what my sequence is. I have 3 plus 5i. Now the variable, don't get hung up on the variable and we'll sh I'll show you how in a second. I'm just going to hit the variable button right here and X is what pops out so it's okay if you use X. Now the next thing we're going to do is hit the comma and then we're going to go ahead and hit X again because we have to say what letter we're using here in our sequence. I'm going to go back and take a look at this and I'm going from the first term to the 20th term. All right, so I want the sum of the from term 1 all the way up through term 20. So then here after the X I'm going to type a comma and then a 1 and then another comma and then 20 comma in one because we want every term from the first to the twentieth term. Then we're going to need to put two parentheses to close that off. And then you hit enter and you get the value of 1110. So that's how you're going to enter that the long way. Now if you have the updated operating system here's a really really cool way to do this and you guys are going to love this. What you're going to do is hit the alpha and then the window button. And notice number two down here. So we're going to go down and we're going to select number two. Now check this out. and This is so cool. Now here where the, where the cursor is blinking you're going to want to put whatever letter you want there. And I usually just hit the X button right here. So X is going to start at 1. And then I'm going to use my arrow key and notice it moves to the top of that summation symbol. So I'm going from 1 to 20. I'm doing the sum of the first 20 terms. And then in here, then I'm just going to put my formula. 3 plus 5 and then X. And it's closed off and I'm all done. So all you need to do, boom, hit enter, shazam, you're finished. That's all you need to do but in order to work with this, you've got to have the updated operating system. So in either case, whether you type it in programmatically, like if you're programming, doing the sum sequence using your catalog feature, you can find 1110, or you can use the alpha window button to get you set and set it up that way. All right, thanks for watching this. I hope you guys find this helpful and informative. So we now know that the sum of this series, 3 plus 5i from 1 to 20, is going to be 1,110. Have a great day. I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.